Margaret Sullivan, a luminary of classic Hollywood, is a name that resonates with those who have an enduring love for cinema. Perhaps you might reflect on when you first recognized this talented actor's presence on the silver screen. Did it come in the form of her captivating performances in films like The Shop Around the Corner or Three Comrades? Or was it a different moment that left an indelible mark in your memory? While Margaret Sullivan's work in classic Hollywood is celebrated, there are lesser-known facts and anecdotes that add layers of fascination to her career. She possessed a unique charm, one that endeared her to audiences and critics alike, making her an iconic figure of her time. What aspects of her life and career intrigue you the most? Now, we'd love to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor? Share your stories and memories in the comments below, and let's celebrate the enduring legacy of Margaret Sullivan together. Margaret Sullivan, a talented actress of her time, had a distinctive voice due to a congenital hearing defect known as otosclerosis. This condition made her increasingly hard of hearing as she grew older, resulting in a throaty voice. Despite her hearing challenge, Sullivan made a name for herself in the world of cinema. Her refusal of a role in It Happened One Night led to Claudette Colbert winning an Academy Award for her performance. Notably, Sullivan's life also had a connection with Peter Fonda, who named his daughter Bridget Fonda after Margaret Sullivan's daughter, Bridget, following her tragic suicide. Margaret Sullivan's life and career were marked by both personal and professional challenges, making her a memorable figure in the world of entertainment. Margaret Sullivan's tumultuous relationships were as memorable as her acting career. Her first husband, Henry Fonda, once admitted, I never knew I had a temper until I got married. Their marriage was marked by constant arguments and fights, with both of them often at each other's throats. It was a roller coaster of hot and cold emotions, and their love didn't seem to be enough to sustain them. The details are a bit hazy now, but the intensity of their clashes is clear. Whether it was Fonda storming out in a rage or Sullivan kicking him out, one thing is certain, their marriage was far from smooth sailing. Sullivan's life wasn't just about stormy relationships, though. She also had a rich family life. At the age of 31, she gave birth to her third child, a son named William Hayward, on March 27, 1941. The father of the child was her third husband, Lelan Hayward. This added a new chapter to her personal life amidst her thriving career in Hollywood. Apart from her personal life, Sullivan's legacy extends to her eldest daughter, Brooke Hayward. Brooke wrote an autobiographical book titled Haywire, which became a bestseller in 1981. The book later inspired the television movie Haywire in 1980, starring Lee Remick. Margaret Sullivan was a complex personality, with her personal life as dramatic as the roles she played on screen. Her marriages and family life, as well as the literary success of her daughter, provide a deeper understanding of the woman behind the actress. Let's focus on Margaret Sullivan's life and career. Margaret Sullivan was a talented actress known for her work in classic Hollywood films. She faced personal challenges, including hearing loss, which led to depression. Ultimately, she tragically took her own life with a drug overdose. Sullivan's acting career spanned several decades, and she was well regarded for her performances in films like The Shop Around the Corner and Three Comrades. Her talent earned her critical acclaim and a dedicated fan base. However, in the later years of her life, Sullivan's hearing began to deteriorate, which took a toll on her mental health. She resorted to lip reading as a way to communicate, but her depression deepened. In 1960, Margaret Sullivan died by suicide through a drug overdose. Her struggles with hearing loss and depression were well documented. In 2019, a new biography was published, shedding more light on her life and the circumstances of her death. It's worth noting that Sullivan's personal life also had its share of ups and downs. She was once the mother-in-law of notable figures like Peter Dutchin and Dennis Hopper. Tragically, her son, William Hayward, also took his own life in 2008. Margaret Sullivan's legacy in the world of cinema endures, but her life was marked by both professional success and personal challenges. The new biography published in 2019 offers further insights into the complexities of her life. 
Margaret Sullivan was an American actress known for her brief marriage to Henry Fonda, which ended in divorce after two years. However, they separated just four months into their marriage. Sullivan's life took a tragic turn when her youngest daughter, Bridget, was found dead in her Manhattan apartment on October 31, 1960. This unfortunate event occurred only 10 months after Margaret Sullivan's death. Bridget's death was ruled a suicide by drug overdose, mirroring her mother's own tragic end. She was just 21 years old. This brief look into Margaret Sullivan's life highlights the personal challenges she faced, including a short-lived marriage and the devastating loss of her daughter. These events serve as significant points in her life story, showcasing the hardships she endured. Margaret Sullivan's journey in Hollywood was a testament to the hidden struggles that many stars face beneath the dazzling exterior of the entertainment industry. While she was a talented actress and enjoyed some early successes, her path was marked by the shadows of personal trauma and mental health battles. Throughout her career, Margaret faced numerous challenges that stemmed from these deeply ingrained issues. Her mental health problems cast a constant shadow over her life in the spotlight, making it difficult to find stability and happiness in the midst of fame and adulation. Moreover, her personal trauma, the details of which she kept private, haunted her and affected her ability to navigate the competitive and demanding world of Hollywood. These struggles eventually took their toll, leading Margaret Sullivan to make the difficult decision to retreat from the glitz and glamour of the film industry. It was a decision she didn't take lightly, but one that was essential for her own well-being. Her story serves as a poignant reminder of the significance of mental health and how even the brightest stars in Hollywood can be affected by personal demons. Despite her early success, Margaret found it necessary to step away from the limelight in pursuit of personal healing and redemption. Her journey, filled with ups and downs, serves as a profound illustration of the importance of addressing one's mental health and seeking help when needed. In the end, her legacy is not just in her performances on screen, but in the courage she displayed by acknowledging her struggles and prioritizing her own well-being. This narrative is a reminder that the world of Hollywood, though filled with glitz and glamour, can also be a place where hidden battles are fought and sometimes won or lost. Margaret Sullivan's story is one that should be remembered and discussed, serving as an inspiration for others facing similar challenges in their pursuit of stardom. As we draw the curtains on our journey through the life and work of the remarkable Margaret Sullivan, it's an opportunity to pause and contemplate the indelible mark she has left on the world of entertainment. Her performances were more than just roles. They were windows into the human soul, invitations to delve deep into the complexities of life and emotion. Margaret's talent was a thread that wove its way through the tapestry of cinema, theater, and our hearts. She had the extraordinary ability to make her characters relatable, to make us see parts of ourselves in them, and to make us feel that we were not alone in our joys and sorrows. Her presence on screen was a mirror reflecting our own hopes, dreams, and struggles. Now, it's your turn. Reflect on your personal connection with Margaret Sullivan. What are the moments, scenes, or lines that have stayed with you over the years? How have her performances touched your life or changed your perspective? We invite you to share your favorite memories and thoughts, allowing us to continue this beautiful conversation about a remarkable woman and artist. In the world of entertainment, Margaret Sullivan's legacy shines as a beacon of talent, authenticity, and emotional depth. We're grateful for the gift she shared with us, for the countless hours of joy, introspection, and inspiration she provided. Thank you for joining us on this journey and for celebrating the life and work of Margaret Sullivan.